Welcome to Escape to the Country. Today I'm in a county that is blessed, as you can see, with some glorious landscapes, which also has some pretty impressive coastline. In fact, the coastline here was designated as Britain's first natural World Heritage Site. And on top of that, it's one of my favourite places to go house hunting. Today we're helping a young family swap their urban estate for a rural outlook. Wow. It's fantastic. That's yeah. uh, really nice. pretty amazing, actually. But will our houses have the right ingredients? Mm. Hey. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what I call a kitchen. And can we get the mix right with today's mystery house? I could fall in love with that view, but yeah. it takes a bit Some of time work. to fall in love with the property. Well, today we're in Devon, or more specifically, East Devon. And as a county, it's also famous for possessing some of the country's most impressive and extensive landed estates and country houses, like this one, Escott Park. Now, when the grounds around here were laid out back in the 18th century, it was a favoured haunt for the local nobility and, on occasion, royalty. It's said that poor old mad King George and Queen Charlotte dropped in for a cup of tea on their way to Plymouth back in 1789. But the good news is that today, it's open to everyone. We'll be visiting Escot later in the show, but there's more to East Devon than country estates. Sandwiched between Somerset and Dorset to the east and Exeter to the west, at just 314 square miles, East Devon isn't huge, but within its borders, you'll find some of the UK's greenest and loveliest countryside. And don't just take my word for it, there are two separate areas of outstanding natural beauty which between them cover over 60% of the landscape. Both are shaped by centuries of farming activity. The south is home to a myriad of market towns and villages, not to mention 30 miles of the World Heritage Coast, charting 185 million years of the Earth's history. In the north of the Blackdown Hills, a truly unspoilt pastoral region where you're more likely to come across four-legged residents than people. Its hills and valleys are dotted with isolated farms, hedgerow lanes and countless villages and hamlets. With not one single town, it really is a country escape. And if thatch is your thing, this is the place to come. Devon accounts for 17% of the UK's total and there are over 4,000 thatch properties here which come in every shape and size. Now there is a potentially endless list of reasons as to why you might want to move to Devon, but here are just three for you to think about. The first is that nowhere in this county is further than 25 miles from the sea. The second is that it has a warmer than average climate. And the third is that house prices have dropped here a lot less than they have in other parts of the UK. So not only is it a good place to move to, it's also quite a good place to invest in. And as ever, there is plenty on the market to tempt you.